What's up guys, it's Crayfish Obsession here today. And today I had the incredible opportunity to go crayfishing with Mael Glon, who is an astacologist or crayfish biologist. And uh, we're in the DC metro area and we're going to get some devil crayfish. And now this is important because Mael Glon is actually working on a paper that will split up the devil crayfish. That's presumably a widespread species. Well, he's going to split it up into separate species. And this is really cool. If you want to know more about this, um, I have a link to his website down below. And I also have a link to the paper down below too. So if you want to check that cool stuff out, uh, make sure you check it out. Today we visited Heritage Island on the Anacostia River in Washington, DC to look for Lacuni Kimberis diogenes, also known as the devil crayfish. The devil crayfish is a burrowing crayfish that lives in swampy areas where it digs burrows down to the water table. These burrows are often capped with a mud chimney that is thought to help with ventilation. Many other organisms hide in these burrows, making the devil crayfish an ecosystem engineer. It's fun to catch and observe crayfish, but please be sure to not move them from place to place as they have the potential to become invasive and negatively impact other organisms. Okay, so we actually got really lucky and found a really large male and a really large female inside the same burrow. So that means they were going to mate, presumably. And uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. can push out of my, like he's pulling, pushing out of my grip. Yeah, I like, I like, sometimes when I come back and uh, like look at the aquarium, I had one that was like almost pushing the lid off. Yeah, they're good at escaping. They're, uh, they're definitely strong crayfish. I'm gonna take a picture of him real quick. So, oh, that sound is really loud now. Yeah. Oh, they eat him here too. Yeah. 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 But like, I think China like became number one. In, oh, really? Yeah, in making and farming them. So wow. They're like the yeah, and they farm the the Clarky. Clarky, yeah, yeah. They're big in, in the southern U.S. They're also really big in Scandinavia. There's a big culture of eating crayfish in Scandinavia. I think in Sweden too. I think I saw it in, mm -hmm. on YouTube, like crayfish parties. Yeah, they have crayfish parties there. It seems like a fun time. <laughs> yeah. Such a big one. Yeah, that's about as big as the species gets. So, like, how old would he be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe about four or five years old. Some of the species in this genus can live over 15 years. I don't know how long this one could potentially live. It'd be different in captivity, of course, than in the wild, but um, it could probably live about 10 years. I, I'd feel comfortable with saying that. Mm -hmm. Wow, I've never had one. I've never seen one just walk on the hand like that. Oh, most crayfish will do it if you just get them. You know, then initially they freak out and then they just kind of chill. I mean, he's not trying to pinch me or anything. They what? I, I usually see that with like the spiders, yeah. and, like the land crabs. Same idea. Such a beautiful crayfish. Now to oh, show so the... this be like. Now he's gonna explain uh, the male's gonopods, and these are organs that male crayfish have that um they use uh, during mating. Um, oh, those I... are huge. Well, these are actually not the gonopods. These are the second pair of pleopods. Um, these are all pleopods, swimmerettes, which the female uses to put eggs on, and other crustaceans use for swimming. Crayfish don't. This is the, the oh. this is the gonopod. This is the first pair of um, of swimmerettes, I guess, or of pleopods. This is a form one male, and you can see that because when you look at and these are are, are paired, by the way. Oh. When you when you look at it. Oh, it looks exactly like the things in the photos. Yeah, in the paper, right? But it's very, it's a lot, see how it's kind of, it moves a little bit, it's a little bit more defined. If you were to see a form two male, this would look very, just kind of, just sort of blunt, not really well defined. It wouldn't have any um, little details to it. It would just kind of look like, almost like you took a picture of this and you changed the resolution so it was really low resolution. Oh. That's kind of a bad analogy. Do they but... like, do they choose when they're form one or form two? They molt in and out of it um, oh. with a season. So they'll typically be in form one in fall and spring and through winter and so then they'll like, molt out of it in summer. Is there like a 
purpose? Like yeah, to conserve form? energy. Well, form one is the reproductive form. So this crayfish is able to uh, reproduce right now. Form two is more of a way to save energy and just focus on growth. So in summer, when it's not really the mating season, um, they'll be in form two. But that that will change though with burrowing crayfish. They don't follow the rules as well as a lot of stream dwelling crayfish, which are more susceptible and more kind of open to the to the to the climatic changes. Burrowing crayfish are kind of protected from a lot of that. So you'll find sort of anomalies where you'll have crayfish that are form one throughout summer. Um, it, we don't have a great understanding yet of what's going on with the burrowers. It's like, if they meet like a potential mate, will they ever like just go back and molt into form one and then come back? No, no, they couldn't do that. They, and they also wouldn't really be trying to find a mate um, when they're in form, in the form two. Can you hear him? Listen to him, that's him making that noise. Can you hear like a little squeaking? Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's him moving his mandibles. Is it like on purpose or? Yeah, I think they probably do it to uh, scare us off or maybe it's just that he's moving the mandibles trying to... I don't know. I don't know why he's he would do that. <laughs> he's super big. Yeah, he's a nice crayfish. Really cool.